Welcome to our Christmas service and wherever this finds you this season may God be with you and may you know the wonder and the glory of the Christ child with you and a very very happy Christmas from us all. So let us worship the Saviour, heavenly King yet born of Mary, Jesus Son of God. We praise you and adore you. We confess that amid all the joys and festivities of this season, we have sometimes forgotten what Christmas really means and have left the Lord Jesus Christ out of our thinking and our living. God, God of mercy, we are sorry that we have not always done what you wanted us to do. We have not loved you with all our heart and we have not cared enough for other people. Forgive us for Jesus' sake. Amen. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a special prayer for today. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. from Luke chapter 2, the birth of Jesus. 
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem in the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and who was expecting a child. While they were there the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find the baby in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they'd seen him, they spread the word concerning what they'd been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yesterday, our little grandson, Ben, came on a long journey all the way from Hertfordshire to St Helens. And he was well looked after on the way by Hannah and Phil, um, but also on the way they had a very large Labrador and uh, a car full of luggage. It was quite a, an epic journey for them all of several hours. Way back 2,000 years ago, another epic journey was made by... You can hear Ben, can't you? You're going to see him in a moment, don't worry. <laughs> another epic journey was made by a young mother, Mary, and her husband, Joseph. And they were travelling to Bethlehem where Mary gave birth to little baby Jesus. I'm thinking what a journey that was of 80 miles eight and a half or so months pregnant and uh, with only a donkey to help and uh, through bandit country and really quite risky situations they travelled and uh, it makes me feel quite tender towards Mary and uh, I'm sure Hannah can identify with what it's like to be that far pregnant and about to have a baby in such uncertain circumstances as Mary had. That was an epic journey but there's another an even more epic one, which I'll tell you about. So the epic journey was made by God himself, who before even the universe was created had a plan for the world and for his presence in it, which would mean that he would come down from heaven and be born on earth in this poverty-stricken situation that he came into. Quite what it meant for him is what catches our um, catches our hearts maybe and the mystery is beyond our understanding but he Jesus was king of heaven and he took off his crown in order to come to this world took off his crown he also took off his heavenly robe the one that signifies perhaps that he is the creator of the universe itself he discarded that into the lowliest of lowly places he came to show how much he loves us, how much he identifies with us, how much he is able to be human and indeed was in the person of Jesus. 
and in a moment our little Ben will give us a, a, a glimpse of what that may have been like for him at the beginning of his life on earth, Jesus our Saviour. On that night, all those years ago, 2000 or so, a star appeared in the heavens like no star had ever quite appeared before in quite that glory. And God came down the staircase of heaven to the threshold of earth, carrying his son. And God became human and was born in that stable and laid in a manger, beginning a life on earth that was lived to show us how much we're loved, to show us how to live, and to, years and years later, give his very life for us out of love. But this is where it began, and the mystery of it, of it is absolutely beyond comprehension. Question though, can you believe it? Can you believe today, if you've never believed before, that it's true? And does Ben help us with that? I think he does. Thank you, Ben. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, on this day your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this day there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this day, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this day, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this day the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this day, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this day, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this day, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, Hear our prayer. On this day, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, on this day, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary Joseph and the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name is called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please share that with those around you now. Peace be with you. May God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Christ. Let us give thanks to our Redeemer. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Glorious God, it is right indeed to give thanks and praise to your name. At the birth of our Saviour, shepherds lifted their eyes to a vision of angels. Eastern star watchers saw a sign in the heavens. Two people raised their face in praise for a child born in a stable. So now we lift our own eyes, our hearts and voices in praise of your name. And we join with the angels and archangels in the ancient hymn of praise, saying, Holy, holy, holy one, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O God most high. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Saviour, Hosanna in the highest. All seeing God with gratitude and love, we remember your mighty acts. In the beginning your word created heaven and earth, called forth a people to be your people, proclaimed and prophesied your message of hope and salvation, and in the fullness of time was made flesh in Christ Jesus. 
We praise you, O God, for your word. All loving God, as a father cares for his children, as a mother leads her young, you brought your people out of bondage in Egypt, to a land flowing with milk and honey, and in the fullness of time, you yourself became a child in Jesus Christ. Nourished and guided by his parents in their home, we praise you, O God, for your love. Today, with gratitude, we remember Christ's birth, his teaching, his healing, his suffering, his death, his resurrection and ascension. At the celebration of Christ's birth, we also remember the night in which he was betrayed. He took bread, and when he had blessed it and given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the supper he took the cup and said, This is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As we remember all your mighty acts, O God of mystery, Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this bread and wine, that by your sanctifying grace our hearts may be made holy and our lives may be made pure. We offer our own lives to you in praise and thanksgiving at this celebration of Christ's birth. May this feast become for us a true communion with one another and with Christ our Saviour. Amen. We pray together the prayer that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break the bread of life. And that life is the light of the world. God is here among us, light in the midst of us. Bring us to light and life. broken for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Body of Christ that was broken for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ poured out for you, keep you in eternal life. Christ shed for you, keep you in eternal life. Amen. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith fill our hearts and shine in our words and deeds. Through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. So this Christmas time and always, may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And may we wish you a very, very, very happy Christmas. Christmas. God bless.